Hey guys, Breg here. Welcome back to the fifth episode of my TSM for Noobs series. Whilst I've covered all the main features, I just wanted to do a final episode to sum things up and go through a couple of things people have been asking me questions about that I may not have covered in the other four episodes. First of all, I wanted to talk to you about TSM's tooltip. That is, when you mouse over an item, the information that comes up about that item. This is very customizable. If you look at what I have, I have min buyout, obviously, that's the price it currently is on the auction house. I have market value, that's the average price of the item. I've got region market value, so the price across all the realms in your region. Region sale average, so this is kind of interesting because if it's a lot lower than the region market value average then it's likely that price is often inflated and not many people buy it at that price so it's quite useful to know as you can see here the sale average is not that much different to the market value average so these are probably going to sell quite a lot another thing that will tell you that is the region sale rate things such like transmog or really slow selling items have 0.001 0.05 whatever something really low here it's 0.69 which is really high I think the highest is one and nothing reaches one so yep that's kind of useful to know if you want to change any of these tooltips you just go to options tooltip options and auction DB and you can check a load of things like the historical price the global price, you know, the global sale average, all that kind of stuff. You can also show the crafting cost, which I have, very useful. The material cost, as in how much are the mats to make it. Loads and loads and loads of different options. You know, you can even show things such as you know, expired auctions since last sale. So if it's a transmog, you'll see, oh, I've, I've reposted this 100 times, it still hasn't sold. So maybe you're just going to have to vendor it or lower the price. Sale rate in items tooltips. We already have the sale rate, so you don't need your personal sale rate. But if you want it, you can put it. Whilst we're here, there's a number of other options on TSM, which can be quite useful. In the auctioning tab, for example, you can tick this, which will cancel auctions even with bids so when you're running a cancel scan if you never want people to bid you just put the bid because you have to then you can tick this and even if someone's bid you'll cancel it to be honest I don't know why you tick this but some people may want to again the destroying tab you can tick whether or not you want the destroying frame to come up whenever you get a disenchantable item you can show the log data, different timings. Again, the mailing tab has loads of different options, making mailing default, etc., etc. The shopping tab, obviously a lot of cool things. I did talk about this in one of the videos, but here the market value price source. This is the far right column on the auction house. I buy a lot of pets and sell them across server so I use the region market average so on the far right column when I'm buying things it's gonna tell me the region percentage so whether it's higher or lower than average in the US other people might just want to know for their realm especially if you don't do a lot of cross server selling in that case you just might want to have this as DB market some more general options down here you can change the default tab which will open when you open the auction house I have it as auctioning because usually when I open the auction house it's to sell things you can set it to shopping or whatever you want moreover you can change the size of the auction house frame and you can tick whether or not you want your bags to open I didn't actually know this existed till earlier when I was checking it out I always thought it was really annoying that my bags would open when I opened the auction house. 
So I've unticked this and now they won't annoyingly open. I've also been asked to explain a bit more about the tabs actually on the auction house. So the auctioning tab, obviously it's where you deal with selling auctions. Your groups are all here and on the right there are some very useful features. Cancel all, obviously we'll just cancel every single item you have on the auction house. And then when you've got your scroll wheel macro you can just scroll through and everything will quickly be cancelled. This is especially useful, the low duration. So if it's like this and you press cancel low duration, it will cancel every auction that's under 30 minutes left. You can change that to medium, 30 to 2 hours. Often when I can't be bothered to go back to the auction house, or I'm about to go to bed and there's a load of medium auctions, or even long auctions, I'll just do that, press cancel low, and then look, see I've got 21 auctions with less than 12 hours left. I cancel them, put them back up, and none of my auctions will expire in the time that I'm sleeping. The quick post from bags is also pretty cool. That will post anything in your bags which aren't in a group. So if you're lazy or you're not someone who likes to make a load of groups, this will just post everything you have undercutting the lowest price. So it is a bit risky if someone's posted really low. You haven't set up any operations, so it will still undercut the really low auction. So I don't suggest using this much, but if you just want to be quick, you can always use this, and it's a pretty useful feature. On the shopping tab, there's also a number of cool and quite complex features. Your recent searches show up here in the top left and you can import favorite searches just type the search in there press import and then for all your characters it will have this favorite search so you never have to type in the most common things that you buy on this character I don't actually have any shopping operations but if there's a group of items you always want to look for say profession items you can create the shopping operation like I talked about in my groups video and easily search for all those items in the group. Now on the right the custom filter slash other searches that's also pretty cool you can filter all this this is basically like you can already do in the normal auction house so I don't suggest using this unless you really want to search for some gear or something and then these searches are pretty cool obviously we already talked about sniper very cool feature there's also a vendor search and a disenchant search now this will search for every item on the auction house which when disenchanted or vended will give you more profit than what it's actually selling for on the auction house. Now when you press disenchant or vendor search it will take a while to load because there are so many items it has to go through but then it will start scanning the auction house. To be honest this is very slow and I wouldn't suggest doing it but some people like to do it because it's very easy gold and sometimes you can get some pretty rare mats from some really cheap pieces of gear on the auction house. At the very top here you can see there's two different types of search mode so you want to usually have it in the normal search mode so I typed in chaos crystal and it just comes up with all the chaos crystals cheapest first and then you can just buy out scroll your mouse wheel and it will buy things However, you can go on the crafting tab. Now this will not only search for the item you type in, but also anything that can be disenchanted or milled or anything to produce that same item. So Chaos Crystal in the crafting tab has come up with all these blues, all this gear that will disenchant into a Chaos Crystal. But as you can see, the profit margins for getting Chaos Crystals compared to the price you have to pay for these is ridiculous so obviously you're going to just want to buy the Chaos Crystals however for some old world mats the gear is actually cheaper than the mat itself so this can be useful for that kind of thing finally this Auction DB tab is really irrelevant because basically it's for scanning but you should all have the TSM desktop application and this scans in the background so you never have to do a scan and in fact you can get rid of this auction DB tab by going on the TSM options and you might as well do that because there's no point in having it 
So yeah, that's it for the TSM series, guys. I hope you all found it useful and you are now successfully using TradeSchool Master. Now, there is this extremely useful Reddit, Wow Economy, the Wow Economy subreddit. It has a special section for TSM questions and one of the creators of TSM will answer any of your more complicated questions that you may have. I am no expert on TSM but they obviously are so if you have any questions go on to the Wow Economy subreddit, go into the TradeSchool Master section and ask away. It's a very useful resource. But that's it guys, until next time, see ya!